So now we're going to focus on the BSc Social Sciences degree, and we are delighted to introduce um, our, some current students who will give an insight into their experience of studying in UCD. With the first student I'd like to introduce now is Chloe. Chloe is a final year BSc Social Sciences student. She's undertaking Sociology and Economics um, as part of her degree. Um, welcome, Chloe. Um, I'm Chloe, and I'm in my fourth and final year of economics and sociology in UCD. So I chose to do economics because I'd done economics for the Leaving Cert, and I really enjoyed it. And I knew I wanted to continue to study it, but I knew it wasn't the only thing I wanted to do. And I had the opportunity to go to like one of the open evenings that they hosted at the RDS. So I had a chance to speak to one of the sociology students at the UCD stand. And I just really liked the sound of sociology, so I knew it was something I wanted to study as well as economics. And my guidance counselor actually let me know about the social science course and about how I could do it as a joint major. And really, um, I really enjoyed taking economics and sociology and just since I've started it. So structure wise in first year, I had all my core modules that I had to take for both economics and sociology, but I also had classes with other social science students who were doing another, a broad number of different subjects. And it was just really interesting because I got to know all the other students who weren't necessarily in the exact same two subjects as me. So besides my core and optional subjects, I also had the chance of doing electives. So since starting, I've actually done classes in Spanish, Irish, and also in business. So I just had a chance to actually get to do other classes I was also interested in that didn't have to do anything with my course as well. So since starting, I've really enjoyed how much economics and sociology really relates and applies to everything that's happening in the world. And one of my favorite classes I've actually taken since starting is health economics, because it really looked at like differences in access to healthcare, insurance, and actually looked at COVID as well and epidemiology. And it was really interesting because it was one of those things I hadn't expected to study in economics, but it was really interesting. And in sociology, I had a chance to take a qualitative research methods class, which was really interesting. And it actually gave me quite an advantage as well, um, because then in third year, I had the chance of doing an internship. So I have the option of doing an internship or going abroad. And I decided I wanted to do an internship because I really wanted to get some real life experience. And even though I'd worked part time in college, I wanted to do something with my degree as well, just, kept, just to get a bit of experience for when I graduate and everything. So with the internships, the social science office actually let us know about all the opportunities they'd had with partnerships with different companies or people also had the chance of self-sourcing any internships they wanted to do. So I managed to actually get one with the National Quality Improvement Team uh, for the HSE, which was really interesting because I had a chance to help manage their social media. I helped facilitate web webinars that they had. And I also had the chance of doing a qualitative research paper and I found it really interesting because I had studied it in sociology and I had the chance of actually applying it to the job I was doing there with the HSE. And it was just really interesting as well, working with other people and kind of just getting an insight to what it's like working full time as well and with different people and everything. And I found it, it hasn't been too difficult balancing everything, which is really good because like I said before, I've been working part time and I've also been quite involved in a lot of societies and clubs and what I really like about all the societies and clubs in UCD, I have to say, is that they always have different events on. They have events on in the mornings during classes. They have coffee mornings and they would also have events in the evenings and after college and everything. So I found that really good. So I had the chance to still go to loads of events while still working. I didn't have to sacrifice one for the other, which I really appreciated. And it was really good because I got to know so many different people who weren't necessarily in my course. And just because we had loads of different like mutual interests and I really enjoyed that. And yeah, I've really enjoyed that so far. And as well in second year, I was actually a peer mentor and I mostly did that because I'd had a really good peer mentor when I was in first year and just having that support and like knowing that I had someone who I could just talk to when I needed to find something or just even know what supports were available in UCD. And sometimes it's just so much easier speaking to someone who's studying the same course as you and everything. So I found that really helpful. And I'm really glad that I had a chance to then do it myself to help out other people who were starting out in UCD as well. And as well, so since actually doing my internship, that's really helped me figure out what I want to do after college. And I know I have an interest and in especially, like I said, health economics. And again, with research and everything, which has been really helpful from doing my course. So now that I'm actually in my last semester, I've been having a lot to think about of what to do 
afterwards and I've decided I want to do a graduate program and it's really interesting as well because um, UCD has been very helpful for that because they have career fairs that go on where you have a chance to go and speak to people who work at different companies and I've just found that really helpful and I've really enjoyed doing my course so far. Thank you. Um, and now I would like to introduce um, Harry. Harry is a final year BSc social sciences a student who's studying philosophy, politics and economics which is one of the pathways um, or the subject combinations that we offer on the BSc um, Social Science degree. Welcome, Harry. I'm Harry. I'm a, a fourth year student in politics, philosophy and economics. Um, what attracted me to UCD to come study here was the fact that I got to the breadth of subjects that I get to study. So I get to study politics, philosophy and economics. Um, the ability to study in all these different areas really informs the different uh, the different subjects. When So when you're learning about philosophy, it really helps you consider different parts of economics or in politics, having that economic knowledge is really, really useful. Um, and just by, through the content that you study through these courses, although it can vary so widely, there's also a lot of people who are obviously very influential that uh, come up all the time. So whether it be Marx or Hobbes or Rousseau or someone like that, to be able to learn about them through a philosophical lens, a political lens and an economic lens, I think is a really good thing. And it showed you learn a lot more about them and I think you understand what they're trying to say a lot more. Um, I'd say the interplay between the two sub three subjects is really um, strong as well. I'd say the economics gives you the modeling of how the ideas play out. Politics gives context to those ideas and philosophy will be the discussion kind of whether those ideas are good ideas in the first place and what we actually wanted to achieve. Um, another thing that attracted me was the flexibility that the course brings. So obviously I study three subjects. So that means that I have a lot more options open to me as I'm leaving college because I have the maths element and I also have the critical thinking side that comes to philosophy, um, which I really, really enjoy and attracted me to UCD. Uh, UCD is a very, very international university. Um, and in my course alone, there's, I think, four or five different nationalities and being able to discuss these really, really important ideas with different um, people from different backgrounds. So listening to someone talk about philosophy from Italy or what they do in Australia for this certain problem is uh, it's really interesting. And I think more diverse opinions makes for better debate and informs the debate so much better. So that kind of richness that the international background of UCD brings I really, really enjoyed. Um, I had never studied philosophy before, but I had studied politics and economics at A-level in the UK. Um, in the first year when you come into UCD, there's a lot, lot, there's a lot of core modules you need to study to so just kind of get your basis, your like bottom line of this is the level you need to do. And then you can do electives. So I've done electives in, in business, in negotiation, in history and lots of fun stuff. And so when you move on to second and third year, and by the time you get to fourth year, you really have a lot of flexibility about what you can actually study. And so, for example, I really like behavioral economics and I like Immanuel Kant. So I've done three or four Immanuel Kant modules, or I really like political philosophy as well. So I try and pick modules that fit my interests. And I've managed to do that in the past years since I'm a final year student. Um, in addition, you do get to do a, a semester abroad in your third in third year for one semester, which I really, really enjoyed and I'll uh, touch on later. Um, what I've really enjoyed about studying my course particularly is just the kind of day to day. Obviously, you wake up, you go to your lectures. But for me, it can vary from doing phenomenology to behavior economics to political risks. It's always kind of pushing your skill set and a lot of modules will be treading really new ground because of the nature of how um, how various they all are. Um, some of the highlights of being UCD was being taught macroeconomics by one of the professors who worked very well with Ben Bernanke, who used to be chairman of the Federal Reserve. Um, personally, philosophy, I didn't know really how, if I was gonna enjoy it that much, but it's turned out to be my favorite. I think being able to go in depth on in ethical issues around consent or looks based hiring or then it changes completely when you start talking about metaphysics so writing essays about free will and phenomenology were just things i'd never really considered before in such a long form academically um which i really really enjoyed um in the terms of the third year internship i got to go to university of texas in austin i had a wonderful time i actually left around this time last year um, I'd really, really recommend it. UCD, such an international university, gives you these wonderful opportunities at the same time. 
I enjoyed studying at UT Austin because the exposure to new ideas and the different style of lecturing, again, increases your breadth of learning, which only improves your skill set that you have when you take that out into the job market. Um, when I was in UT Austin, I did a Congress module. So in the Congress module, each member of the class got allocated to be a, uh, a senator for a state. And then you went away, did loads of research about your state, and then you brought resolutions. And then they would basically had a mock Congress within all the students at UT, you'd sign up for the class. So as someone who's obviously not from Texas or not from America, being able to sit in on those discussions with people who are my age and but they have these all these all political these, all these different political opinions and listening to how they get to those opinions and how their backgrounds have informed them um i really enjoyed and that was uh, an experience that study abroad really uh, brought me um in terms of and then also just the the more fun side so you get to travel around america and have a wonderful time i got to go to san francisco new york atlanta seattle um and just learning about american culture generally um, being able to go inside and um, you know what I mean you make friends then you go to their homes and you learn the kind of American lifestyle it's great um, in terms of involvement with societies and things like that I am the class rep for PPE and so I've tried to make my course super sociable so everyone knows each other and everyone's very comfortable so we've been on class trips to Krakow we've been to class trips to Berlin um, and we've held a couple charity pub quizzes where we've raised money for PA to house and which is a, a, a charity um, I also run a seven aside league for international students and I run an 11 aside team so there's lots of opportunities to get to know people through sport or even if you just want to get people to know in your kind of academic area doing things like peer mentoring which Chloe mentioned um, I really enjoyed because when you arrive at UCD you get a peer mentor um, and they'll be in your subject area normally and then they kind of show you around give you some ideas about and you can always go to them for any help that you need. So I decided to do that in my second and third year because it's such a great way to give back and you also learn a lot. In terms of after college, um, I plan on trying to work for the civil service in the UK and hopefully get um, to work in the foreign service and get posted to a bunch of different embassies around the world to keep traveling, but also apply all that different knowledge I managed to learn in my time at UCD. I'm now delighted to welcome Lara, who commenced her studies as a joint, a joint major option in the social sciences degree, but has now specialized in economics. So um, welcome, Lara. Hi, everyone. So my name is Lara, and I am a fourth year social science student in UCD, and I'm studying economics. So I suppose I first became interested in studying economics in UCD when I attended the UCD Open Day in sixth year and I went to the DN 700 social science talk. So I really enjoyed maths in school and I had a keen interest in data analysis and economic policy and I knew I wanted to study economics as I felt that my skill set was well suited to the subject. Then after Christmas in sixth year, I attended an economics information evening in UCD where lecturers from the School of Economics and economic students and alumni spoke about their experience with the course so similar to this. Um, and at the time, one thing I was aware of was that economics was a brand new subject for me and as I did not study it for my leaving search. However, at this economics talk, I realized that this wasn't a problem as all of the basics of economics were covered in the first year. This talk is probably what really pushed me to study uh, economics as I found the talk very informative and insightful and I was really motivated to apply for social science in UCD. Uh, I suppose after hearing other students experience and hearing what new skills I developed from studying economics and where it could take me career-wise, so when I first started at UCD, um, I chose economics as, and statistics as my joint major, as I really enjoyed maths in school and I knew that the two subjects would complement each other and there really is a lot of crossover with both of them. Um, and as I said, economics was a new subject to me, but I didn't feel like I was at a disadvantage at all when I first started at UCD and I felt like I picked up the subject quite quickly as you complete introductory modules in first year which are compulsory so everyone's starting at the same level. So my favourite part about the course is the wide range of modules that are offered um, I've gained really strong quantitative and critical thinking skills from studying economics and studying economics has also allowed me to interact with large data, data sets and to develop strong skills in analysing and interpreting data. 
And the modules probably that I've enjoyed most uh, would be econometrics, where you learn to analyze data by using statistical software. And I also enjoy behavioral economics, where you learn about decision making. So I suppose uh, my favorite thing about UCD is that there's so much support for students. I've had such a positive experience in UCD over the last four years. I've always found that there's so much support offered from lecturers and tutors and the career guidance and that there's also other support services from the Math Support Centre and the Economic Support Centre, which I really couldn't recommend enough. They're just so helpful. So another reason I was interested in the DN700 course was because there was also an opportunity to complete a semester long internship at stage three. I completed my internship at Ernest & Young, which is a professional services firm. And I was working in the insurance assurance department. So my internship was a great learning experience as it gave me good insight into a professional working environment. And it was also an opportunity to apply the quantitative skills which I developed from studying economics. Personally, my internship was probably the highlight of my degree. And I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to do an internship during my time at UCD. Um, another benefit of the DN700 course is that there's an opportunity to transfer to a single major in economics. So as I said, I was originally studying a joint major of economics and statistics, but at the end of stage two, I applied to transfer to single major economics. Um, at the time, there was a criteria at the, in which you had to achieve certain grades in your core modules. And then I found out after my exam results in the summer that my application had been successful. And so I started single major economics in stage three and now I'm in my last semester of studying. So, so just to finish up, I mean, if you're interested in developing strong skills and critical thinking and data analysis and you're interested in learning economic theory, then I really encourage you to apply for economics because I've had such a positive experience as a social science student studying economics here at UCD. Thank you so much, Lara. Um, I'm delighted now to welcome our first alumni speaker and we're joined by Robert Sweeney who's a, a politics and international studies and economics student and graduate rather and who now works as a business analyst with um, with Bearing Point so you're very welcome Robert. Thanks Emma. I'll kick off. Uh, so yeah I'm Robert Sweeney I'm a business analyst for Bearing Point uh, which is a technology focused management consultancy and I'm a member of their finance and risk team. So in a basic sense what I do day to day is to help companies solve their problems and these can be wide ranging uh, across different sectors and different areas. Uh, some recent ones that I've worked on in my career so far was helping an investment firm comply with a new regulatory regime that came in from the EU. Um, I worked on a counter Brexit tourism strategy, analyzing data about how tourists make decisions and how this uh, tourism agency could counter uh, the effect of Brexit was gonna have on their tourism. And then at the moment, I'm helping companies improve their forecasting uh, using data. My degree, uh, as you heard, was economics and politics with international relations. And I picked this combination as I had really uh, strong interest in economics and politics and then the international relations as well. Uh, I thought they really explained the world around me in terms of the macro economy, what was going on in Irish society. At the time, we sort of, uh, coming out of school, you had all those discussions on the IMF and Ireland was just sort of emerging from the financial crisis it was in. So I thought these subjects would really explain like all the things around them. Uh, and then on a more individual level, um, social science is great for learning on how people make decisions, why they do certain things. In terms of um, good memories in UCD, I suppose what I really enjoyed most was making some really great friends. It can seem like a huge daunting campus, but uh, by the time you're in your final year, you won't be able to walk through the campus without seeing somebody you know. Um, I finally remember as well some of my lecturers. They were really great, uh, be it from economic history with uh, Morgan Kelly, the Irish economy or Middle East and Asian politics. Uh, those lectures are really interesting, not only because of the subject matter, I suppose, and, and the assignments, but the, the lecturers themselves had a real passion for their subjects and had devoted a huge time to become experts in them. Uh, then in my final year, I decided uh, to run uh, for a full-time position in the student union as an education officer. So this took me on a year out uh, that was really interesting. Uh, I got to be part of some big social campaigns, both on and off campus on things like housing and student accommodation. And then I got to be part of bringing uh, entertainment acts in to play UCD, like the academic uh, Wild Youth. 
And then uh, I worked with UCD to change some academic regulations. This was a big focus of the, the university management at the time and from things like how quickly you get feedback from lecturers. Uh, and then for the small amount of students which redo, redo a module, how that happens. Uh, so the student union is very much student led. Uh, so it was a real uh, baptism of fire in uh, the working world. Uh, and then in my career, what this has translated into is a really wide network of friends and loads of different companies and across industries, because not only do you get to meet people in your own subject area, but you get to meet people in agriculture, vet, law, engineering, uh, and then you see where they all go after college. It's, it's really, really interesting. And then from a soft and hard skills perspective, um, what it's allowed me to do is really get to grips on how to make a data-driven argument, uh, how to publish something uh, and bring it to a committee and interpret new regulations. Um, so this has been huge at the moment for uh, advising investment firms on my last project and what they meant for business. And that was a lot of the critical skills, I suppose, I picked up in politics where we look at, you know, certain political decisions and, and why they happen and track them. So in terms of my career path, I finished my undergrad and then I did my elected year in the student union. And then I decided to do a master's uh, in management consultancy on the Black Rock campus. And then I started working in a small strategy consulting company. I moved to a bigger uh, international services company, KPMG. And for the last year and a half, I've worked for Bearing Point. So in terms of how my degree uh, impacted on my career with economics, I gained an understanding of the different theories and how you can apply economic models to problems uh, like the pro production possibility frontier with inputs and outputs. Uh, within politics, it's been really useful in understanding how the EU works. Uh, as I said, within a recent, recent project, I was working with investment firms on regulations, and this allowed me to track EU legislation and to tell the client I was working with when something would come into force. Uh, and within the School of Politics and International Relations, they have a really, really strong area on, on the EU and how the EU works. So that was fantastic. And then in my final year, uh, within the economic side of things, I really did a lot of deep dives into sustainability and economic development, uh, especially the SDGs, which UCD are really, really strong on. Uh, and with sustainability being, I suppose, one of the most talked about things in the world right now, it's been really useful in understanding like, how we transition and what the challenges are from both an economic and political perspective. Transferable skills, I'd say, how to analyze problems, as I mentioned, in different ways. And what I'd stress about the combination is that it gives you a really uh, quite strong side on, on two really key areas, the qualitative and quantitative side. So on the qualitative side, that sort of reading and writing, critical reasoning uh, and communication, and then also being strong on the quantitative side, be it with data analysis, economics, uh, and the leverage that gives you with statistics in preparing graphs, or also how to analyze data uh, and what data is saying or what it isn't saying. And then in my role, I can end up writing quite a bit uh, and different business cases and things like that. And politics has made me, I suppose, a much uh, better writer in preparing an argument or a case on something. And then in terms of, of finally advice, uh, I'd say to remember that there's many different entry routes into UCD, uh, not just the CAO. And we have some fantastic QQI courses. And then if I could sneak in a second, I'd say uh, in UCD, there's a fantastic community uh, for whatever interests you, be it sports or societies. And if there isn't a group, you're very much encouraged uh, to start it. So if you do come to UCD, I'd say to seek out those clubs and sports. So I'll hand you back now to Emma. Thank you so much, Robert. And our, our final panelist um, from social sciences um, is Holly. And Holly is a graduate of sociology and economics um, in UCD. Um, I'm delighted to welcome her. She um, is currently, um, her role is a regional sales manager with responsibility for Europe, Middle East and Africa at Meta Facebook. So very, you're very welcome, Holly. We're, deli we're delighted to join. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. And hello, everyone. As Emma mentioned, my name is Holly Simmons. I'm a sales manager working here at Meta, previously known as Facebook. I graduated from UCD in 2015, uh, where I was studying economics and sociology. Economics for me at its very heart is the study of people. Um, it seeks to explain what drives human behavior, decisions and reactions when faced with difficulties or successes. So this was why I was interested in economics as I felt I would gain a toolkit of skills, approaches and ways of thinking that I could then apply to a wide range of problems. Economics also is one of the central disciplines underpinning the study of business management and public policy. 
And then, of course, sociology, I felt that it also gave me the tools to understand the world, but also think about how we can change it for the better. Um, I studied many different topics such as social inequalities and um, how they operate, but also how we might overcome them, as well as exploring key areas such as race, gender, social class and disability, which are all really important key areas in today's society. For me, um, UCD was uh, three very memorable years. Um, I participated in many different community um, activities, particularly um, when we look at the communi community that UCD has. It really sets the stage uh, for a lifetime of leaning in, reaching out and building connections that can break barriers for you in the future uh, work world. If I could recommend anything to you, uh, it would be to get involved in any clubs or societies that you are interested in. I got involved in the snow sports club as I have a passion for skiing and went on the UCD ski trip, which was tremendous fun. And then I also got involved with the UCD fashion show where I was part of the marketing team and helped drive ticket sales for the fashion show in aid of the cardiac risk in the young charity. This gave me a chance to really build out my skill set, but also broaden my network to make new friends. Um, and last, but by no means least, it also gave me the opportunity to increase my marketability to future employers when it came to interviews. With that, after UCD, I got a job working in a fast moving consumers good company where I was solely responsible for driving sales and marketing for a wholesale group, managing a range of suppliers from Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, you name it. It was here where I gained a passion for all things digital, which allowed me to then pursue a master's in digital marketing from Trinity College Dublin. I then worked for a marketing and events company where I was head of digital marketing and led the st digital strategy for many clients across uh, UK and Ireland. This experience then led me to Meta where I have been for the past four years and loving every minute of it. I help many different businesses across Europe, Middle East and Africa, and it's given me an opportunity that I couldn't have even dreamed of. Economics and sociology gave me a really powerful foundation of transferable skills that I've been able to use across multiple roles. Firstly, sociology has allowed me to understand society and the roles that we have within it. This has helped me to become a critical thinker with a thorough understanding of social policy. And then economics, of course, gave me a high level of mathematical and statistical skills where I was able then to apply the economic principles and models to problems in businesses and the working world in my previous and current job. Lastly, I will say you gain so many transferable skills in UCD, as well as part-term jobs or community um, sk skills and clubs that you join. You may not even realize it, but it's really how you frame these skills to the story in your employer is what will make you stand out and really set you out from the crowd. My final note, and I suppose a piece of advice that I will lead you on. Um, for many of you, I was sitting on the other side of this table or virtual room as we're all in now, um, eight plus uh, years ago. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I think as Harry and Neve really mentioned, um, I knew what I was interested in. So I was interested in business and people. If this sounds like a similar situation to yourself, I would really recommend co considering social science um, or economics or something along the degrees that have been spoken about today. The degree gives you a diverse range of knowledge that also allows you to understand society but most importantly, people. It then opens up many doors of opportunity to a wide range of employment opportunities. Remember, we all started somewhere someday, so keep going. Be yourself and remember that the expert in everything was once a beginner. Thank you.